What is up, everybody? Yeah, it's like 4 o'clock my time. I meant to stream at like 1 o'clock my time. And then I took a nap. I was really tired today. I was up late this weekend. I had a lot of stuff do I was doing this weekend on Friday and Saturday. It was a buddy of mine's birthday. And like we were all over the place. So it was just like, ooh, too many, too many weekend plans, guys. So it's finally all over with. I think I got sick again, which is great. Um, you know, feeling good. So if I sniffle a lot, I'm sorry. Uh, but I was taking a nap, and then I finally woke up, and I'm like, ah, oh, crap, I gotta stream. So, that was my day. But yes, I did mean to stream a lot earlier, and I, I didn't. So, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's like, it's, it's 4 p.m. for me, so a little bit late. I meant to stream, like, starting three hours ago. And, uh, I'm now realizing I missed a call from my parents. That's good. That's good. I'm, I'm on a roll here. I'm doing good this weekend. So, yeah, I gotta call them back later. But, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna stream something. I got a Red Bull. Get, uh, should wake me up here. So yeah, today um, I was thinking about it, and I just wanted to do something like a little bit ridiculous. And um, I was actually thinking about the uh, the hover bike I made in the ten minute speed builds. I think I have that on the lift. I hope I do. Uh, ten minute, yeah, I do. Okay, so I was thinking about this, right? Because this was this was one of the the builds when I did some ten minute speed builds. And I was actually thinking about remaking this better, which I still want to do because uh, you guys were asking about it. Because this is, you know, the hover bike. Um, it's pretty, it's pretty terrible. Oh boy, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't really drive very well. But I was thinking about remaking this, and I thought, well, you know what? Instead of making a hover bike, why don't we, why don't we just make a giant big wheel? Because I've always wanted to have a big wheel, and I, I don't have a big wheel. And uh, instead of making a big wheel that's just powered by like a motor let's make it powered by pistons because like why not so i think we're gonna do like i'm gonna do a four cylinder big wheel with two pistons on either side and make it like just constantly run with pistons it'll be good right yeah that's that's the thought the thought process anyways first live stream welcome to the live stream ziv tamba plays games that is a lengthy name thomas with the thick wheel yeah it's it's pretty thick um so i'm not gonna do any mods because I, I don't want to use a mod. So I am going to have to build like a wheel for this. So we'll do that first. And uh, and then we'll go from there. And oh my goodness. I'm going to wipe my nose here real quick. Sorry guys. Like I said. I I'm, I'm, think I'm getting sick again. So you know. It is what it is. But anyways. Uh, we're going to build a wheel. So I'm going to go to my favorite website. Which is you know the pixel circle generator. And uh, we need. We uh, need. Like something relatively big like I'm thinking like at least like 30 31 blocks by 31 blocks that's that's a big wheel that looks like a big wheel okay so I'm gonna build this real quick so three four whoops four five six seven and then it's one two three four and then one two three two 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 uh, two, two, what? Dang it. So this is going to be the, uh, the sick death stream. Um, you might get sick just from watching me blow my nose so many times, but sorry about that. Like I said, I don't know what's been happening. I've been spending too many nights out too late. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five sections. So one, two, three, four, five, two. Four, and then one two three okay so that's like a quarter of the wheel that should be good should be big enough but yeah I've just been like dying this uh, I don't know yeah it's been it's been rough guys it's been rough I've been uh, I've been uh, very much under the weather but I have been I have been going out a lot recently so it's been kind of I think it's time to take a break uh, it's just been really busy like ever since I uh, quit my job. I thought I'd be less busy, but like, you know been uh, been I mean, I guess it is during the week, but on the weekends. I'm still just as busy, so uh, It's four and then this is one two three four so we think that is three right Cause it's seven. Yeah, so three Okay, and that's half I don't know. Yeah, okay, whatever and then this is one two three and then that's like that, and then cut that, and cut that. And then this should just weld in. There we go, and then we have a big wheel, right? And then we can...
Perfect, right? Anyways, okay, so there's my wheel. So hold on, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring my chat back up. To get better, Stroob, you have strep throat. Man, that sucks. Get better, for sure. Take the meds that the doctors give you for that. I had strep throat, like, way back when I was, like, in... Oh, I, now I've, I've got runny nose. Runny nose syndrome. But I, I had strep throat back in, like, grade 3 or something, like, years ago. It was terrible. I was out of school for, like, two weeks and just couldn't talk and blah, blah, blah. It was awful. James Holiday, I'm your favorite YouTuber. Thank you so much, buddy. Shout out to Autobot Man. But yeah, strep throat sucks. It's terrible. And I should try to start streams earlier. I agree. I, I should probably also try to not take naps on a Sunday. That would that would probably help. Okay, so... Um, I need to make this wheel piston-powered somehow. I didn't really think this... Well, let's just, you know, let's just leave the wheel for now. Let's work on, like, some forks and make some forks that are piston-powered. So, the forks are going to be... Like that. I'm trying to think how, like, I want to put like all the piston mechanisms either inside or outside the fork. So I'm gonna need. That's gonna be where the wheel is. You're gonna need a, a transfer joint. Piston will be here. Piston will be here. So I'll need this to go like that at least. Something like that. Okay. And then let's just let's just do a test here real quick. Like, if we go like that, can I weld this wheel in? Is the question. Or is it going to bottom out? Oh, that's good. Uh, eh, it probably needs it probably needs some more clearance, to be honest. Okay, hold on. This build is going to be very difficult, because I'm going to try and, like, just basically build everything at weird angles, and then weld them all, all the parts together at the very end. So, let's just do this. And then like one, two, whoops. Oh, wait, what? Was that not attached to the ground? That was attached to the ground, what the heck? Oh, it's not, look at that, that's so weird. This game's weird sometimes, I tell ya. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Something like that. Can you make a giant car with a differential? Um, I did a giant car, like, a long time ago, but it didn't have a differential. The giant car, the problem is they lag like crazy. What's up, Igor? Yeah, the wheel's way too thin. Don't worry about it. The, the wheels, we're gonna, we're gonna thicken the wheel out. It's, it's just, this is a prototype. This is just the size. I'm probably gonna make it three wide, you know what I'm saying? So, like, you know what, we'll just do it now. Just, just keep you guys happy. We're gonna make a thicker wheel. Everybody likes it thick. Come on, knock it over there. There we go, perfect. I find now that I'm a, uh, a full-time YouTuber, I have days where, um, I'll just build like crazy in scrap mechanics. So I'll have days like uh, on Thursday and I spent the whole day from sun up to sundown just building stuff in scrap mechanic. Like I had to spend at least 10 or 11 hours in scrap mechanic that day just building stuff. And it's awesome because you get on this roll where you just like, you, you can't, like I would get frustrated with something and I would close the game for a bit and then I would like instantly open it back up and be like, no, I have to figure this out because it's going to bother me until I, I do. And so I really like that. It's a, it's a lot of, a lot of fun when you're a full-timer, you can do that. Really? I want... Ah, oh, god dang it. Come on. There we go. I mean, I'm trying to think. Could I do the piston engine any other way. I mean, I, I want to do it on the uh, on the outside of the axle. It'll just look funny. Plus, it'll have a lot of power behind it, so it should be enough to push this wheel, but we'll, we'll try to think how I'm going to make it compact, because it needs to be compact. I mean, I could do... I'm wondering if I should do, like, a radial piston engine, but it's probably... A radial engine doesn't have as much... Meh, I don't know. It's not as smooth. 
but a radial engine I could fit like inside the hub which would be really cool have an engine like hidden inside the hub of the wheel I'll show you guys what I mean okay so here's what I'm talking about so here's a radial engine right So, like, you could fit all that inside the hub of the wheel, right? And, like, it'll technically spin the wheel. And then we could do... Or or the other option is to do an inline engine, which is... I have... Look at all the piston engines. I have way too many piston engines. So you do an inline piston engine, which is like this, right? Oh, hold on a second. Two seconds. Ugh. Oh, I'm dying of the plague, guys. What do you guys think? Do you guys think I should do it with, like, an inline engine of some kind? Or do you think I should do it with a radial engine? A10 Warthog Jet. Yeah, that would be cool. Save the wheel. That's a good idea. Save the big wheel, big wheel. Uh, we'll call this the big wheel, big wheel. But yeah, what do you guys think? Do you guys think I should do an inline engine? Or do you think I should do a radial engine? Shout out to, uh... Just a plain bucket. What's up, just a plain bucket? Make it red. Okay, radial. Radial? Yeah, I figured radial. Because radial is going to look cool. The inside, the inline engine does look better, but this is going to be cool. Like, if you mount two radial engines, one on either side of this thing, like, what's the distance we need? Okay, so the mount point is here. So we need one, two, three, four, five. Five. Interesting. So we need five spaced width. And from the center, we've got one, two, three. See, because this is what I'm thinking. If I offset the hub and go like here on the hub, then I go one, two, three, four, five, and then I can fit my radial engine completely in here. And all I need to do is have a pivot point that's here. So all I need to do is mount the wheel and the radial engine will literally be mounted straight to the wheel. The only thing I don't know about is if we can get reverse on a radial. Can I? If I, let me see, how can I reverse this? Um, where's my controller for it? Oh, it's down there, okay. I think I think I can reverse this if I go like this, right? Like 99% sure this will reverse the radial engine's movement. Like, I mean, I have to do this and then switch the direction of the sensors. Uh, will that do it? Oh, that'll do it regardless, yeah. It's very choppy, though. Hmm. Oh boy, that's not good. Huh? Wait, what? How is that spinning? Nothing is technically spinning that. All right, well, reverse is going to be a little bit choppy, I guess, but you know what? That's okay. We're just going to have a, a very choppy, choppy reverse cycle. That's all it's going to be. Okay, so let's let's make this happen somehow. So I'm trying to think dimensionally. I need the distributor on the one side, like on the wheel side here. Let's see if we can let's see if we can even do this. I don't even know, guys. This might this might crash and burn horribly, but we'll find out. So here's going to be our distributor side of things. I've honestly never tried using the radial engine in for anything other than like when I made a really basic simple car with it. So it was pretty useless. 
use one for forwards and one for backwards, but if you want to use two edges like that, one for forward and one for backwards, then you need a clutch mechanism to engage them, right? Otherwise, both engines will be engaged on the same time, and it'll try and they'll try and fight each other, so you can't do that. Have the engine spin against the chassis like the old planes. That'd be cool. What happened to Scrapman? Uh, Scrapman got taken down by an email fish, guys. He's, he didn't delete his channel. Everyone keeps like going like, oh, he deleted his channel. He didn't. He got basically the equivalent of hacked, but not hacked. And, um, yeah, so it wasn't, it wasn't his fault. His channel got taken down by a third party that's not YouTube. So he's working with YouTube to try and get it back. But if you want updates on what's going on, you gotta follow him on Twitter. Can we just knock you over? Thank you. So yeah, you gotta, you gotta go follow him on Twitter. And, uh, he puts out updates on Twitter and is letting people know what's going on there. But, uh, I can't give you any insight, really. Man Gaming, remember, you know how he retrospects stream, he done, he was talking to someone else, that was me. Yeah, I know. I, I know who you are. I, I, I saw you in the stream. In retrospects' stream there. Which I just kind of invaded and joined. Okay, so that's that. I'm literally gonna build this as like a copy. The heck? Where'd you come from? Yeah, I'm just gonna build this as a copy of that. So you know, let's just let's just remove that for now. Uh, and then we need to go to the transfer piece. See, why does that have? That doesn't need to be a rotating bearing, does it? Does it? Why? Why is that? I don't think that's ever ever needs to be a rotating bearing. Like ninety nine percent sure it doesn't. I'm like I'm, I'm actually like a hundred percent. You know, maybe maybe it does. I don't know. Let's just let's just build it without it and see what happens. Maybe it'll explode. Okay, so we're gonna do that and then uh, yeah. Okay, and then yeah, we need to do, see. Uh, you know what? I don't trust myself. No, because it it does. That's right. Because the initial position is different from the output position. Okay, never mind. Hold on. So we do this, uh, this one's gotta go, I can't even remember. How does this sit? I lined it up horizontally. Okay, so I made it, I made it perfect horizontally. Offset that went back in. Okay, this is gonna be this is gonna be good. Okay, so offset here, and then like this. And then like that. I don't need sensors, I don't think. So I can put them with bearings. Hold on a second, guys. I will get back to the old chat. I'm just trying to... I want to figure some stuff out. Because that's continuing my axle, right? Yeah, which is straight lined. And that's offset. No, but it, it is an offset to start. God dang it. I'm screwing this up so hard here. Oh, no, it is offset to start. Okay, so it's lined up with that. Which gets lined up on the other side. Which then this curves back... Okay, here we go. We're getting this now. This curves back in... Like this. Okay, like that. And then that mounts to my... Output, right? But this is the side that actually is going to be... Effectively rotated? Am I screwing this up somehow? I think I am. Because then, no, because my thingy mounts between those two points, right? And that'll be perfectly centered, and then offset, and then stuff, and then... But I want this piece to mount to something. I want this piece to drive it. Okay, so then this has to have... Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, I see where I'm screwed up here. This needs to be like this. Right? And then that... No, this would mount to the wheel. Okay, so hold on, hold on.
Yes. Okay. This mounts to the wheel. So the wheel's gonna mount to that. That piece of concrete right there. And then this goes to the fork. Which I guess we can just do like that. Okay, I think I think I've got this. That's that's the shaft setup, right? Yeah, I think I'm good. Whisper out to Nathan Childers. What's up, buddy? Genghis Khan, what's up, Thomas? Swiss people in here. Notice me, Senpai. That's some cool text. I don't know how you guys do that crazy text stuff. I honestly have never figured that out. People doing, like, their names, their messages all the time. I have no idea how you guys do that. Add scrub. It's gonna suck. What's gonna suck? I'm confused. When you take the engine and build the prongs or whatever around it rather than try and build it... Yeah, I mean, I... Try both types of engines? Oh, God. Maybe I'll make a, a second type of engine in, uh, like, off the stream, and I'll try it with a different type of engine off stream. But uh, I want to I wanna see if I can get this radial engine to work. The radial engine's really difficult. I think this goes like this. And then, yeah, and then this just is... Like, a plus sign doodly majumner, like that. This song is a little bit disturbing. And then, yeah, this, okay, this goes to here, right? Yeah, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. I'll figure this out. Okay, and then for this one, this is where we need to do this. Each one of these has two on it, depending on the depth of the radial engine. Or no, these are all one, actually. This was a shallow engine, that's right. So I need to get one in there, which we'll do in a sec. So that one's actually not too bad. We just kind of build three, take that off the lift, and let it see it spirals out of the way. And then there we go, we can place it. And now it's kind of glitched through it. Okay, and then the engine pieces curve back towards the wheel. They're literally going to be like mounted inside the hub of the wheel. It's going to be sick. And then the wheel hub will just go, it'll be like a, a wide set hub. It'll, it'll, it'll work. Okay, I think this is... I really hope this works and I didn't screw something up. I think this is right, though. I'm trying to think if I messed something up. I don't I don't think I did. Um, I don't know, I guess we'll find out. Okay, then we need some piston mount points. And the mount points have to be to the chassis. <laughs> Hmm. That's gonna be a bit difficult, isn't it? The wheel spokes are gonna have to go through the mount points. Actually, no, they're not, because the wheel can mount on this side, and the mount points can be on this side. Okay, we're good. Never mind. So... Which way? This way. Aha! Success. Okay, and then one, two, three. God dang it. I'll, I'll change these out afterwards. I just want to make sure this works first. And then we'll do... Oh, this one's actually just going to be... Okay. Oh, I guess I screwed that one up too, didn't I? Because we can just do... Yeah, let's just do this. Actually, let's, you know what, let's just do this differently right now. Let's just do this, like, with pipe pieces. Be more kind of, like, retro-looking. Well, actually, not retro-looking, but it'll be more, like, compact-looking. Okay, there we go. Perfect. 
And then this one will just yeah, delete that right off the bat. Okay, and then the piston's gonna be there. So this goes one, two, boom, one, two, oh, three. Perfect. This is actually going to look sweet, I think. Maybe. I don't know. Hopefully. I, I, I do a lot of second guessing on myself uh, here on the channel. It's really good stuff. Is that right? That's right. Okay. I just hope it works, to be perfectly honest. I mean, I, I honestly, I haven't built a radial engine since that first one. And, like, you know, it's not really my area of expertise, per se. Okay. That looks good. And then one more here. Totally screwed that up. That's fine. Right? So there we go. That's like a radial engine. Uh, why is that free spinning? Oh, now it won't free spin, right? Because I've got stuff. Is that right? I don't know, maybe. Okay, and then we need some AND gates here. Because we always need some logic gates for this. I don't really want to take up all that arm space. You know, we're just going to mount them like as part of the arm. Come on. Three, four. Just like that. Perfect. You have a shout out. What's up, LK Wix? Lucas, how's it going? Notice you, Senpai. Yes, it did. Can I make tutorials on how to make piston engines? Sure. I mean, the piston engines, the the, the only thing. Uh, as I'm dying here, the only thing with piston engines you got to think of is this this controller is the essential piece. So you got to make everything because of the way scrap mechanic builds, right? And that's the biggest problem with piston engines. You can't build stuff on angles on the lift. You always have to make sure it, it's compatible on the lift before you can take it off the lift. And that's the hardest part. But this controller is what corrects that. So on the lift, everything's lined up. And then as soon as you're off the lift, the controller is supposed to move the pistons to an oh that's because that's not welded anymore perfect that's good but there as soon as you take it off the lift you can see the controller moves it to the offset position that it needs to be at and then the and gates are just basically to allow the sensors so one two three and four and they're just to allow the sensors so when we hook it up to a switch um, yeah, the switch will let us do stuff. It, or Sorry, it won't. I'm, I'm trying to focus while not focusing. Um, the the AND gates are used so that the, the sensors won't activate and have the engine automatically spinning unless we activate the switch. You see what I'm saying? So now we can go like this, and like this, and like this, and like this. Okay, and then I need to figure out... Okay, so the first piston that needs to fire... Is that one that one am I right two they all need to go a length of two but I might have built this too small I think I need to extend this out more yeah I think I need to extend these pistons out by an extra block but we'll see Okay, hold on. So let's see which one fires first. So I want it to spin this way, which means you've got to connect to you. No, you've got to connect to you. Which means you're next. I 
think. Am I right? Not at all. Crap. Uh, I can't remember how this stupid thing's supposed to be wired up. Okay, hold on. So it's... When I first fire, this one should fire... That one? But then that means that one fires that one. And then that means that one fires that one. And then that means that fires that one. Nope, that's not it. What the heck? Okay, how did I how did I how did I wire up this other one? Let's can we let's stop. Stop. Let's just let's just stop. Let's How is this one wired? Which one's the first uh, okay, thank you. Hello. So we spotted on the lift. Uh, which one's the first igniter? That top one is. And this one is connected to what? That one. And it's this one, and this one's connected to what? That one? Of course I can't tell because it's like impossible to see. Cause I done I done did this all connected. You know what? We're gonna split this out again because I can't tell what the heck is going on anymore. So uh, yeah, my life is just ridiculously confusing now. Okay, so let's just do this. Okay, and let's go back to the way it was, and let's just put an AND gate next to each one. Just like that, perfect, perfect. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I am, I'm so confused today. It's, uh, it's a good day. Okay, that goes to that one. 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 Okay, perfect. So we can connect this up to this, this up to that. Okay, this is slightly less confusing now for everybody involved. Okay, so if we turn this on. The first one that needs to fire is this one, for sure. That one needs to fire based on that sensor there. And that sensor there is connected to this one, which fires that. Right. Or do I have this whole thing backwards? That might be the other issue. I hate radial engines. They're so much more complicated than inline ones. Inline ones, you just set them up and you're done. See, because now this one's the one who has to fire first. Yeah, no, I had that. I think I had that backwards. So that needs to fire this. Whoops, I don't want to do that directly to the sensor. Whoops, whoops, uh oh, uh oh. I think, right? This one? Yeah, this is so, I, I'm terrible at this stuff. This one's connected to that one, so this fires that. Okay, I promise, I'm gonna read the chat in two seconds, guys. I'm just, I'm very, very confused, and I'm trying to make sure I get this right. And then this one fires the next one. And then this one fires that one. And then this one fires that one. Well, yeah, this is exactly what it was supposed to do. There we go. Almost, almost. It wants to do it. Oh, I guess it would help if my distributor cap was right, wouldn't it? Yeah, I was missing these two. I forgot about those two curved pieces. God dang it. I knew I was missing something. See, this, oh, no, this one doesn't even have those pieces. So I did that one better somehow. All right, well, there you go. Now it's a radial engine. Okay, let's see if we can speed it up a little bit. So, let's go like a speed of five. There we go, finally. Okay, give me two seconds. I'm going to read the chat here. Now they finally got this working. My goodness, that was that was much more difficult than it needed to be. I need to make more. There we go. Look at that. That's a good speed. Make a single piston engine. So, a single piston engine, you could do it. And I did it in like a, one of my piston engine videos a long time ago. I looked at single piston engine, two piston engines, and then I went four, eight, and so on and so forth. And the problem with 
a single piston engine is you need momentum to carry you through. So on a normal car engine, your car only ever spins in one direction, and that's because you have a massive flywheel, which is a big steel plate, basically, that maintains momentum through the dead cycles of each stroke. And um, in Scrap Mechanic, with these engines, you don't need that because each piston is automatically pushing another piston. But with a, with a, um, a single piston engine, you need a huge flywheel in Scrap Mechanic to carry it through the entire backstroke where the where the piston's not actually providing any power. Now I'm almost at 42,000 42, subscribers. That's absolutely awesome. I do agree with that. I think that's great. I am also out of Kleenex, which is great. As I'm dying here. Sorry, guys. We are just human, us YouTubers. Respect mods. Oh, well, you know, if my mods are in here, don't be, don't be a dick to them. Do a real V engine. I mean, I could try doing a real V engine. Okay, so now we gotta mount the wheel to this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And yeah, I thought about making a real car engine. Again, even with a real car engine though, you'd need to do like a two up, two down cycle. And if you were to do that, um, like for a V4 or something, or for a, a four, but if you want to do like a V6, um, you could still do it, but you'd have to, one, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm learning to count today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. Okay. So now this thing should, like, it should try and take off, right? That's actually sick. That's gonna have a lot more power than I thought. Okay, let's stop. But yeah, the thing is, with a, with a real V engine, um, you're still gonna need... Uh, a whole big flywheel setup to actually maintain momentum. There's still gonna be a dead stroke, so you're gonna have to deal with that no matter what. Okay, here we go. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 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 Okay, so that should weld up. Not like that. This should move over here. And then the center point is here. Oh, I'm missing a block. Is my lift in the way? Are you serious? Serious lift? Okay, well, let's do this the other way, then. Let's weld you. Sick. And then, yeah, let's just, let's just do that. Make that look better. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so this needs to go out. Right? And then. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that we can go up one. Come on, we can do it. There we go. That's sick. Okay, let's just put a chair on this and see if it'll move. I think it will. I think it's gonna... I mean, it might It might just fling us around. Are you serious? It can't even power that? Really? Is that wheel actually too heavy? Are you, are you serious about that? Interesting. I mean, it'll power it on flat ground, no problem. That's so cool. That's actually really cool. But yeah, it actually it actually can't power the wheel on uh, 
on its own momentum. That's insane. Oh, what are my thoughts on Scrap Mechanic Survival? I can't wait, honestly. I'm gonna play a lot of Scrap Mechanic Survival. Oh, sorry, again, like I said, guys, I'm kind of dying today. So I do apologize once again, but... Um... Yeah, I, I can't I can't wait for Scrap Mechanic Survival. I think it's gonna be great. And Piston Powered Tow Truck, I have thought about that, and I think it's gonna be a great idea. Definitely gonna do that. I'm gonna have to put two engines on it, probably. I mean, I don't really have two room for two engines, but... Like, it looks sick as a hubless wheel. I might just have to make the wheel thinner, would be the thing. I mean, once it gets momentum, it starts going. I don't know, let's let's build, you know, other stuff with this. And let's let's put this on a fork or something first and see what that does. Um, so now we need to rotate the whole thing vertically, is the next step. So I need to weld this to a bar. Actually, we'll just do this. This is probably the easiest way to do it. Come on. Let's go up. Something like that. And then uh, we just need to weld this to a spinning bearing guy here. Of course, of course, of course I did. Gotta love that glitch in Scrap Mechanic too, where objects can't actually fall over. It doesn't actually make any, no thank you. Okay. And then we'll just put this like this. Put you back up on a lift. Really? I can't reach that? Okay. Guess we need some assistance from some ramp pieces. This is the, the one thing I hate about building big creations in Scrap Mechanic, is it's like, you know, in Minecraft they have the ability to fly in creative mode. 100% uh, Scrap Mechanic needs that. It would be so nice to be able to just like, you know, double trap jump or something and be able to just fly your way up and not have to try and build all these scaffolding structures and stuff just to be able to make creation work. Are you serious? Oh, goodness. The, uh, the skill level keeps going up and up today. Alright, can we... Let's just take this down. Again, I, I'm not a fan of big creations. There's some there's something about big creations that just gets uber, uber frustrating. Okay, there we go. Now let's go like this. Oh my goodness, this thing is, it's like bouncing worse than like a freaking bouncy castle here. Okay, there we go. And then we'll just extend this back this way. Just so my lift has something nice to grab onto. Okay, perfect. And then uh, let's try and weld this on now. Okay. This is, this is, we're doing so well. We're doing so well today, guys. Give me, give me two seconds. Let me, let me get this welded on as embarrassingly long as this is going to take. And then we'll, uh, I'll take a look at what you guys are saying there. What happened to Scrapman? Scrapman's alive, guys. His channel's not dead yet. I promise. He's, uh, he's just dealing with YouTube because, uh, his channel got hacked, long story short. Not like, not like a hack directly, but like... He, uh, his channel got hit by, uh, an email, and, uh, yeah, he clicked the link in an email, and it wrecked his whole channel. So, anyways. Okay, so there we go. Perfect. So, now we've got this stuff. No, I don't, I don't, I don't really care. That's... Okay.
We're just gonna, I'm just gonna try and like slope the big wheel body down a little bit here. Plus this will allow me to have like a sort of a ramp area to actually get up onto the big wheel. If we ever need to. Cause he gets, it's definitely too tall right now. And I know this isn't exactly the shape of a big wheel. I, I promise this is not the finished product. I'm just, you know, trying to, to rough cut some stuff here. Okay, and then... I'll probably end up making it so you end up riding up on the handlebars or something. Not sure, but... In the meantime, let's just do this. Mount that to there. And we'll just give it some on thrust. And then uh, one... Let's just do, like, you know, two full... something like that and then go one two three four five six eight maybe that's the other thing scrap mechanic needs like creative mode would be great if it had a mirror mode so you could just mirror blocks especially when you're building the shape of stuff that would be fantastic and uh scrap mechanic also needs the ability to all right of course the steering's backwards and it's flimsy which is hilarious come on can i there we go did i did i honestly i of course i did of course i of course i of course i did well at least it moves which is good but i i put the piston engine backwards I gotta flip the whole thing. <sighs> Some days, I wonder. 10 out of 10. Yes, thank you. I agree. 10 out of 10. Can I build my own dream car on a stream? I mean, I could, but it wouldn't look like my dream car. My all-time... Honestly, I have a bunch of different dream cars for a bunch of different reasons. So, I would love to have a nice Lotus. Like, like a Lotus Exige or something. Just because... They're such light cars, they've got such power, but in all honest opinion, I would be totally okay with an old school Mazda like RX-7. Okay, so let's, let's fix this here. So I'm not going to reverse the whole engine, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to break this here and then re-weld that to that. like this oh my god are you serious why did I pick this game for YouTube why why did I do it why was I like oh this is gonna be good I'll play a nice calm building game no one will get mad about building games Building games are the best. They're so relaxing and so, like, you know, nonchalant. There's no competitive aspect to them. My goodness. Okay, let's try this again here. Yeah. Yeah, I know, right? Like, let's just, you know, let's just leave it that way now. And, of course, no, I can't wild it this Oh, God. I, 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 I'm science. Okay. Okay. What now it wants to be sideways when I put it on the oh my god, this is this is turning so much worse so so much quicker than I thought it would Okay Let's do this Two dollars super chat you stream laps you missed my oh crap I, I used your la missed your last super chat I did I, I can see your super chat though. Do you have patreon Jacob Knowles with the two dollar super chat? No, I do not um, Like I mean I have a patreon account like, I have Con Gaming on Patreon, but I don't have it enabled. I might consider enabling it. The problem I have right now is I just don't know what to what to offer people um, for a Super Chat. Or, a, not a Super Chat, for a Patreon reward thing. So I'd have to really think about what I'd want to offer for rewards. Because I don't just want people to, you know, donate money and not get something from it. 
Um, there is, like, YouTube gaming sponsorships now where they're trying to be, like, Twitch and do the whole, like, custom emoticon thing. So, I don't know. I haven't really looked into any of that yet. And then, in terms of your other Super Chat, you Streamlabs, you missed my last Super Chat. Um, Streamlabs wouldn't help that. I'm just, I'm just sort of incompetent. That's, that's really the problem. I'm not a very good streamer, guys. Actually, I'm not really good at uh, this whole YouTube thing either, to be honest. I just like building stuff. Alright, this has got to work now. Alright, perfect. Okay, and then let's connect the switch up. Nice. All right, are we gonna are we gonna pick up any more speed than this, or is this is this about max? I mean, it can go. The engine can go a lot faster. It's just struggling. Come on, engine. Give her more power. I mean, it definitely works. It's definitely a piston-powered big wheel. I can definitely reduce the height of that fork by a lot. Probably have to. We'll probably have to do that a little bit. Oh god, it's so floppy. I mean, it's working. It's definitely. It's definitely being powered by a piston. Just look at Durf's and use it as a template. Wait, Durf has a big wheel? Is that what you're saying, or does Durf has a as a radial piston engine? I'm using a radial piston engine. I'll show you. I'll, I'll drive back over to the, the setup area. This definitely is not going to have any... Any... Sp Aspira for you. Okay, I'll take a look at it. Piston-powered steering. No problem. We can do that. That's easy mode. This is a very slow vehicle, though. I, I wonder if I can speed up that engine. I mean, obviously, the way to make this more powerful is to put a second radial engine on it but i wouldn't really be able to fit a second one in that same area what i might do though is i can double up all the pistons so we could make two pistons per cycle and that might speed it up actually because that would give it a lot more power per stroke yeah because this thing's weak very weak all right so let's do that let's double up all the pistons it's doing it all right so this is this is the kind of engine that i'm using this thing There's no pound sign in the keyboard. What do you mean there's no pound sign? Shift three. Above above the number three. That's the pound sign. Okay, so I think... Hold on, two seconds. Two seconds. Okay, told you it would be two seconds. See? Okay, huh. Oh, I've got like the black plague for sure. Okay, so piston steering, we can do that, no problem. Um, but let's reinforce this engine first. So, question is how close does that come to interference? I gotta watch real closely here. Yeah, okay, so we should be able to double up the pistons, no problem here, okay. So let's just do that. So I should be able to just literally take... Okay, we're gonna do this one at a time, because I want to remember... I want to... I want to remember... I want to remember which one's hooked up to which. So it's that, that black logic gate is the one we're doing now. And so all we're gonna do... Is go like this, and like this, and like this. And then hopefully this will fit. Okay, can I, can I, okay, can, oh my goodness. I just wanna, why can't I stand up? It's 
so so incredibly useful here okay well piston piston And then this one connects to this, and this one connects to that, okay? And then these will be, they were length three, speed five, length three, speed five. Okay, so that's that one. And then we'll do this one next. Oh, I totally didn't mark which one that was connected to. It was this one, back corner there. That one, right? It was that one blows to that that goes to nothing that goes to those that goes to those kick it so then this one same deal i hope this gives it enough power i mean it should it, it's doubling up the strength of each stroke and it definitely has room for it okay of course it's like impossible to actually get in here and do what you're trying to do there we go and then This is sick. This is gonna be like a radial powered, radial engine powered trike. Like if I had a trike like this when I was a kid, this would you would have been the coolest kid on the neighborhood for sure. And of course, I didn't mark that one either because why would I do that? That one was what? This one? Yeah. like this what happened to scrap man scrap man's alive guys i promise he's coming back with a youtube channel eventually like i've been saying he uh his channel got hit by like a hack email attack so his channel got taken down but it wasn't his fault and it wasn't like youtube it was just some third party being a, a dink basically and so now he's got to deal with YouTube. He's trying to get his old channel restored, and if not, he's going to have to make a new channel. But go follow him on Twitter if you want his updates to everything, because uh, I know people keep asking myself and Komodo and Moonbo about it, but uh, he's he is tweeting about it whenever he gets an update from YouTube. So, but uh, yeah, there's not really much else I can say about that. Oh, son of a... Bottom left. Okay, bottom left. Okay, so this should be good, I think. And uh, actually, you know what, while we're here, I'm just gonna adjust the, the height of this fork because it's really bothering me. And let's just do the piston steering, you know, while we're at it. Let's just do it all, because we might as well. Let's just do that, and then we'll get up here. And then the fork, I think, like I can literally drop the fork. Like probably to there. I can't really tell. It's it's hard to tell how much ground clearance you get on a on a wheel that's diagonal because or a wheel made of blocks because the wheel made of like that should clear right because the wheel made of blocks has like weird edges and stuff right it's not like perfectly circular right so it's racer Rasmus what's up buddy Brent Batch is Brent Batch in the chat what's up Brent Batch welcome to the chat we're making uh, you know stuff it's usual. Right, just like that, something like that. Perfect. Okay, so now we should, this should work, I think. I don't know, maybe. Oh yeah, you can see the wheels like actually like sliding there. Oh, I didn't, I didn't, 
Did I hook up the steering? No, I didn't hook up the steering. That's not good. Okay, hold on. For now, let's just let's just do flimsy, terrible steering. Yeah, this thing's sick. Look at that. Oh boy, yeah. Oh, much more power. Oh, this is good. This is good. Okay. Just to see, we just need to double up all the pistons. This is sweet. It's like a hubbed motor too, like built right into the hub. That's awesome. That's the one thing that you get with like radial piston engines compared to an inline is that it takes up a lot less space. Like you can put them in the hub of a wheel. Obviously you need a big wheel, like you couldn't put this in a small wheel or in a modded wheel. You need a wheel that's like hubless. I think they actually they have modded hubless wheels, don't they? But yeah, that steering is that steering is way too flimsy. That's not that's not good steering. doing pretty good though I mean it's driving okay let's see how much let's see how much power oh boy no 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 go this way okay good does it have power to like go up a hill I wonder like a little bit of a hill like this oh yeah yeah definitely just needed the double pistons okay let's go back to our to our starting area there without dying hopefully and then we'll we'll do some oh no 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 I can't Okay, I need to figure out reverse too. I don't think I can do reverse on this easily. Let's let's try it though. Um, okay, well let's let's remove that. Let's start building a chassis here. Not a big chassis because I don't really care for a big chassis. And then like this, there we go. And then we'll just put like two switches here. Uh, well, actually, you know what? Like, I'm not even gonna do that because this the on I want it to be a W, right? Yeah. So we're gonna do this. Put a thingy there, and then just put a sensor here, and then put a uh, piston. Doesn't even matter, do that, do this, put that on a one distance with a loop. And then if we hook that into a seat, right, then we can, this is the coolest, this is the best way to make a W sensor, see? And then this can hook into our engine, which is that one. See, there we go, rocking. Okay check and then the next step we need some steering so we're gonna just put the standard simple steering mechanism here and then we're gonna do some double sensor crap everyone loves the double sensor crap everyone's always into the double oh no that's not it okay perfect and then we do this and then this ba, 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 ba. if you want streaming help discord kenny face who's kenny face on discord thank you for the super chat again jacob Knowles. jacob I appreciate all your super chats. You're up to like eight bucks, ten bucks to stream. No, eight bucks to stream. That's amazing, Jacob. You should really consider saving your money though, because I mean, I'm 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 a decent dude, but uh, I don't want you guys spending money if you don't have it to spend. But uh, I do appreciate all your super chats always. And um, who's Kenny Face? Is that uh, like is that a YouTuber or something, or is it just like a tutorial channel, or what? What's the deal there? Actually, this is cool because I can just do this. Put that there. That looks nice. Nice and compact. So we got steering. Check. We got drive. Check. Now we need to make some piston steering happen. Uh, in terms of reverse, may or may not have reverse on this thing. I don't really know if I can reverse the radial engine. I might be able to by reversing the controller, but a lot of the time to reverse a piston engine, you have to also reverse the order in which the sensors are reading because they're reading in the wrong direction. So I might not be able to do it. And if that's the case, I probably just 
don't really care about putting reverse on this thing. It's a giant big wheel. I mean, come on, guys. You don't need a reverse on a big wheel. I'm going to just thicken this up, though. Or do I want to? Uh, no, you know what? I don't. I want to I wanna keep this nice and, nice and thin. And then these, I'm going to do some contours on them. Like this. Then I'll put some slope pieces. Yeah, it's going to look good. Boom. Checkpoint. I mean, you put handlebars on that still, but that's okay. We'll get there. And then we'll do this. Come on, get that one there. God dang it. It's actually, you know what, this is actually gonna be good. This is gonna be good. Okay, then we'll just do this. Perfect. Okay, now piston powered steering. Alrighty. There's like a million different ways to do this. Just gonna say that. I know a lot of like Moombo's got his method and all that, but uh, I have my own method of doing it. Which of course is, uh, you know, I don't know the way I like doing things. So we're gonna put a steering block. Do I want it there or do I want it there? I want it outside more. Whoops, don't want that. And then we'll go like this, and like this. Uh, no, I can I can put it in so much closer, can't I? I can really, yeah, you know what, we're gonna do it like this. I don't really care. We'll see how it goes. It might, it might be too close. The thing is, if it's closer, you get more mechanical advantage. Your steering is a lot more extreme. If it's if it's further away, then you get, like, it's, it's a bigger lever to arm. So let me rephrase that. You get more mechanical advantage further away, but you get less, less strength. Does that make sense? Won't smoke slopes make it have less traction? Yeah, but I'm not gonna put slopes on the wheels. Just slopes on the on the body. The wheel's still gonna stay as it is, pixelated, because I don't want to give it I don't want to give it uh, slopes on the wheels. Shout out to Kyle. What's up, Kyle GT? How's it going, buddy? Triple Zap. What's up, Scrub? You know right, Jacob. What what did Jacob say? Did Jacob did Jacob say something? Screw. The wheel is offset. What do you mean the wheel's offset? Is it? Oh my goodness, it is. Well, son of a ding dong. Did I really screw that up that bad? Holy cow, I did. Okay, well, that's uh, that's that's good. That's easy enough to fix. We'll just break it. Wow, that's that's embarrassing. Okay, how far offset did I make that? Like embarrassingly far. Okay, are, are these even centered? There's, those are, I can't even tell. Well, thank you for pointing that out. That was kind of bad. That's like really bad. Yeah, these aren't, these aren't centered. These are off by one. Okay, so I need to move these over. There we go. And then I need to weld the wheel to that. Okay, it's attached to there. Thank you for pointing that out, because I totally I totally mucked that one up. Something like that. I don't know. It's not gonna be the right okay, and then I should be able to take the center of this. Of course I can't weld it because this isn't oh god dang it. I hate big creations. Okay. Nope. Back off. Okay, like that, right? And then like this. Yeah, okay, there we go. So now I should be able to weld this. This should be centered now, right? If I've done this right? I can't believe I missed that. How did I offset the whole wheel? Okay, that's, that's centered, right? That looks centered. Okay, and then we can just continue the last piece at the top there. 
get up here. Thank you. Haha! -ha. Thank you for pointing that out. That looks better, right? Perfect. Everyone is listening. Everyone's listening to what? Discord link doesn't work. Discord link doesn't work. Really? It should. Does the Discord link actually not work? No, you've been invited to join Con Gaming official server. That's what it says for me when I type it in as like a guest. Should work. Or am I am I missing something? <laughs> I swear the amount of less than ten year olds that are in the stream. Yeah, welcome to welcome to streaming. On YouTube. It's okay. I don't I don't mind. that bulky it's 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 pretty good like that there we go right and then that should yeah this is gonna be good don't worry i'm, I'm just trying to give it some weight because i want to make sure the back end kind of wants it to be stable Nice. Okay, perfect. Okay. So let's put some piston steering. Let's let's put some piston steering on this thing. So to do that, uh, it's it's pretty simple, at least the way I do it. So we've got that. These two pieces, which is where our pistons will go. It doesn't really matter to me if they're forward or backwards. We mount them backwards. And then the other end of it goes to another swivel joint, like so. Whoops. But then these swivel joints actually have to move. Uh, actually, I need these to be straight back first. Of course I did. Screwed that up. So they go like this. Yeah, here we go. And then like that. That'll do. I always try and like visualize what I'm gonna place before I place it, which is why live streaming for me is so difficult because like you're trying to you're trying to you know do stuff live without having any real, god dang it, without having any like real time to think about it. Nice. So it's very it's very difficult for me to always like figure that out because like I I try and of course I can't you know I'm just gonna I'm just gonna build a platform off the side of this thing. But yeah I'm I'm uh I'm very very like untrusting of myself i don't know i always i always think i'm gonna screw something up worse than i do come on there we go that's what i wanted and then this connects to that can i connect it perfect and this connects to that that'll go that way that'll go that way So now if I can get this controller, 90 degrees, 90 degrees. So that, see that, how that creates an initial extension on the pistons? And then we just connect this one up to one sensor and this one up to the other sensor. And then they probably need to go, there's probably at like two now, so they probably need to go to like four when you activate them. And if I've done this right, Oh, that is that is aggressive. Four is too much. Three. 
there you go. There's some simple piston steering. And uh, yeah, there we go. So now we've got we've got some steering. I mean, it works pretty well. You know, this thing actually it isn't bad. I mean, it's slow, but it is a it is a radial engine piston powered big wheel, so that's kind of cool. And then of course it needs like a whole load of aesthetic design, but I'm not I'm not very good at aesthetically designing stuff. I'm pretty impressed. I like it, to be honest. Wasn't even my homework. A friend posted on Nexus. Oh, what? Do a monster truck, please help us. Biniac, what? What do you guys? What? What's the struggle? Don't forget pedals. Yeah, I know it needs pedals on the wheels for sure. <laughs> Gonna work on that next. Do some of the aesthetic stuff. Needs handlebars. Oh boy. Yeah, when you really want to, you can really heave that wheel. I don't know if I can... Yeah, look at that. You can get back up, though. That's cool. I'm curious, though. I wonder if I can actually make this reverse. I don't think I can, but I'm going to try flipping the controller 180 degrees. But I think it'll just it'll just freak out and not actually work. But we'll see. But let's just straighten it out here. The wheel is so freaking heavy, though. Like, the... This whole wheel mechanism is so stinking heavy that even the pistons, like, struggle to keep it in check. You can see there, they're, they're struggling to center the stupid thing again. I mean, it eventually centers when you're driving, but, like, like even then, like, you can see, it just, it's very, very tough because of the weight of the wheel. It's got a lot of momentum behind it. But anyways, let's, uh, let's do some aesthetic stuff. But let me, let me try reverse first and see what I can do. Needs balance. Pfft. Doesn't need balance. And, uh... Do I have Gary's Mod? Yeah, I do. I haven't played Gary's Mod in, like, forever. I might get back into it at some point in time. I thought about it, but... Yeah, I've had Gary's Mod for a long time. I've just never really I've never really played it in a long time either. Um, okay, so that's that. So, handlebars... Nice. Okay, and then yeah, we'll just go up here. I mean the handlebars. What? What are you doing? Oh, it's just okay. It's recentering itself. Gotcha. I like doing these kind of really super cheesy, stupid-looking handlebars with barrels. Oh boy, still sliding off the lip. Awesome. Nah, I need to, they need to slope down more. The problem, the handlebars have to be like super low and then they have to like come down. Five. Okay, so yeah, we'll leave that for now. Because I do want to, I want to try and see if I can figure out a reverse function first before we uh, we get too much into that. So that'll be at least the base of the handlebars. And I think if I turn now, they should turn with me, right? Yeah. That piston steering is still really aggressive. Like, look at that. That's you can turn a lot. I mean, it's fine because you can just you can just kind of tap it a little bit to turn just a little bit. But if you really like heaver, like you'll just you'll just flip. Perfect. Awesome. I mean, it's quick though. Well, quick enough. What'd you do today? Well, I built a radial powered big wheel. Because that was. That's been done before. That's kind of cool though, to be honest. I am I am pretty excited about that engine. That engine looks sick. Like, I might, I might take that engine out and use it for other stuff. It's still. It's not the smoothest engine. I'm not sure if that's because the weight of the wheel 
I should probably strip that engine out at some point in time and see what it's like under a no load situation, but um, you know, it's not bad. It's pretty sick. This thing's awesome. I just drive around with my big wheel. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Front wheel needs to be wider? Yeah, but the problem is the wider I make that front wheel, the more power it's gonna need on that engine to spin it. And like right now, it already needs a lot of power to spin it. And so if I make it like super wide, it's gonna be, it's gonna struggle. I mean, it's, it drives, it doesn't fall over too much. Flame paint job, yeah. I might, I might do a paint job. I gotta, I gotta definitely do a lot of body work on this, but I'm probably not gonna do all the body work on this stream. It already has been like an hour and twenty minutes, um, so I'm probably just gonna, gonna make sure the whole thing functions. Put like the pedals on it, the handles, and then uh, I'll do the rest of the body work some other time, and then I'll of course upload it to the workshop and do a video on it. But. Uh, I like that. I like that piston steering though. It's still like the weight of the wheel is so heavy like it just doesn't even matter Steering has got more than enough power to handle it, but like it's just it's just a heavy wheel Okay, well, you know what? Let's just um, I went the wrong way there. I need to turn around I can't I can't go in reverse. See I need to figure out the reverse thing Okay, let's see if we can do this. You know what? Where's my controller? That's my controller. So let's see if I can do this. It Sometimes this works with engines, but with this one, I don't think it's going to. Where'd all my switches go? Speaking of which, oh, I don't have any switches. That's right, don't need them. Let's try this. So this will be a reverse switch, just mounted on top of the steering, because why not? See, that's that's so aggressive. If that's if like you hold it, if you just tap it, it works a lot better. Like I'm just kind of tapping the pistons and it'll turn better. But that's that's super aggressive and it, it's just because the wheels so freaking heavy it goes whoa And then it, it goes way past the position it wants to go to and then it, it comes way back All right, so that's that so let's just um, Let's try hooking this up into here. I mean in theory this will do nothing Yeah, cause see, I gotta reverse the logic now too. So all that does is it like really just breaks it. Yeah, no, it doesn't have it doesn't have the right sequencing. I'd have to reverse all the sequencing. Ugh. See, that's the thing with these engines, and it's like. I could reverse all the sequencing, but they need a whole other set of logic and like, yeah. Oh, interesting. See, in forward, that works. Yeah, I'd have to reverse everything, so I'm, I'm not, I'm probably not gonna... I don't think I'm gonna do that in this stream, because that's just a whole... To reverse all the logic, I mean, you have to flip this controller 180 degrees, which is the first step. And then the second step is the sensor that activates that piston has to go to the opposite piston, and that one has to go to the opposite. So you need double the amount of logic, and then you have to have all the logic hooked into the switch and say basically like the AND gate has to be conditioned only if you're going forwards, and it's just a whole lot of work. So we're just we're just not gonna we're not gonna do that. I'll put reverse on it eventually, maybe maybe off stream I'll put reverse on it, but I'm not gonna I don't want to really do that on actually you know what I'm gonna do it on stream because I gotta I gotta do it it's just gonna bother me if I don't okay time to double up the logic okay come here get up here okay so let's park here in the sun so that I need a gate here and this is the this is the not condition of reversed. So when you're not in reverse, you can uh, you can go forward, which means it'll complete all the these conditions here, right? And so we can do this. I always do this. I'm like, yeah, I'm not gonna do this because it's gonna take a lot of time. And I'm like, yeah, I know, and I'm gonna do it now. Okay, so there we go. So that's forward. 
and if we hit the one switch, see it completely shuts off the engine because now it doesn't complete that not condition, and uh, and so it the, the not condition is is killed basically. Perfect. Oh, look at that. Two wheels, two wheels. See, that's sweet, though. You can just, like, roll yourself back up. I probably need to make the back of it wider, too. Oh, this is gonna be good. That actually worked. Okay, cool. Come on, get up. Get, get. I need reverse. Okay, no, this is, this is going so well. Spam is spam. Even if others do it, it doesn't mean it's okay. Right on, Mini. It's like the same policy for anything in life. It's like racism or, you know, hate crimes. Just because tons of people are racist in the world and tons of people do hate crimes doesn't make it good. I agree with that. Notice me Senpu. Am I Senpu now? What's up, Zachary? Apparently I'm Senpu. I am Senpu Khan. Um... I'm here to teach you about the magical ways of poo. Okay. So. That's that. Um, and then we need the second set of AND gates. Which are these ones here. So I'm going to just do this. Okay, so these ones are going to be the same deal. Each one's hooked into a sensor, so it'll be like... And if we're rotating backwards, it's going to go like that, and then this, and then this, and then this. And then each of those sensors is also going to be hooked into the reverse switch. So you have to be... Actually, I'm going to put a gate there first, just in case I accidentally delete that. So if you're in reverse, this OR gate will light up, which then in turn allows these ones. Just like that, right? Click. Cool. Do you know any ideas for an S converter? Um, not really. Like, all the S converters I use suck. And I was actually, I, I recorded a video with Komodo this morning. Uh, we did some multiplayer stuff for, for tomorrow, for Monday. And um, I used a WS converter in it, and it actually sucked. Like, my WS converter sucked. And it wasn't, like, it's not very good. And I don't know how to make one that's better. The problem is, like, you use suspension, or you could do it with, like, with just pipe pieces that are kind of interacting with each other. And the problem that I have with them is the delay is terrible. Like on a W converter, the piston's great. When you let go of the piston, it, it moves back right away. But on an S converter, you have just such a huge delay before it actually shuts off the engine. It's just terrible. It drives me nuts. I missed your chat. Death Gun, what was your chat? And you subbed. Thank you, Mr. Sir. And of course I remember you scrub. Um, okay, so then reverse, this also has to activate this, and flip that 180 degrees. Whoops, not that way. There we go. Okay, and then we have to reverse the sequence somehow. Okay, so reverse is active, which means... The first two to fire is going to be this one, and then that one. So it's going to be this one will fire. Oh, see, now I need... Oh, I totally forgot about this. I need a whole extra set of logic. God dang it. Okay, hold on. Okay, so I need more, I need more stuff now, because I need a logic gate to activate each set of pistons. Um, shoot. Just mount them to the wheel. Why not? I 
think this will do. Something like that. Something like that. Okay, and then... I should make a full powered big wheel. Like, like a big wheel that's powered with like actual motors. You like this bid? Awesome. There is a simpler way to do reverse. Other than thrusters. And other than reversing just the, the 180 degree. self balancing unicycle. Make a giant seat. Give me a thick wheel. Please play Kerbal Space Program. What'd you miss? Put angle pieces on the wheel so it's not a square. Make the wheels spin 180 degrees for reverse. Yeah, which is what I did, but then you still need to reverse the order in which the pistons fire. Otherwise, it keeps going forwards. Okay, so hold on. So, let's, let's just check this out. So, these two... That one feeds those two. So this top one feeds those two here. That one, okay. So that one's gonna now feed that. And then this will feed those two like that. Okay. This one feeds those two down here. So it's gonna feed that instead. Okay, and then that one's done, right? Done, that one feeds single spot. This one feeds those two, so it's gonna feed this instead. And then these are going to feed that, like that, okay. And the last one is this one. And it's gonna feed that. I hope I didn't screw this up at all. Nope, it's good. Then if I engage reverse, it shuts off. Okay, and then in reverse, um... need all four of you coming from this as well. What? Okay. And then this is the uh, the fun part of the program where we try and figure out how this is going to actually work. So... Oh boy, this is this is always so confusing for me. Let's just you know let's give it a cruise control too, because why not? If you turn on two, that can just give it constant power. There we go. Okay, that's good. See, that's working. It's working good. It's working good. And then I can hold two, and now you see I can go hands-free, and it'll still drive. So that's good. We can hit the switch. Okay, so now I gotta somehow do reverse. And of course, I don't remember what reverse is. So the first one in reverse is gonna be probably this one, which is that one there. And then after that one, well, if that one's that one, then that means this one's gotta be, I can't even tell what's going on anymore. This is so bad. Oh man, what what is what up here? Okay, so what connected to that? So that's, this one connects to that one. Oh my god, this is so bad. It's so hard to tell what's going on. They need to they need to make logic easier to look at. It's getting it's getting ridiculous. Okay, this activates those ones, which means this one's got to go these ones. Yeah, and then this one's got to go this one. 
And then this one's got to go that one. Am I right? Forward. Click into reverse. No, my wheels just uh, got the sequence wrong. God dang it. <laughs> oh man, this is going to be so hard. Oh, it's, it's going to be like... Okay, forward's great. I love forward. Forward's awesome. Let's just go forward forever. You made a piston scooter. That's pretty cool. I need to, I need to make more piston scooter. Why do you make more piston stuff? Make the back wheels on casters to make it spin. Oh, I can do that. That would be cool enough. And a handbrake on the back wheels and stuff. Happy Thanksgiving, yeah, for sure, in Canada. <laughs> Somebody put my tutorial homework on the workshop? That's okay. I don't mind. Honestly, the workshop does not make you successful on YouTube, if you're wondering. Like, all, a lot of people are like, oh, you stole this, you stole that on the workshop. Like, I was going through the workshop the other day, and I saw somebody who had ripped off my bobcat and just, like, repainted it and put it back up on the workshop. And it was like, no credit, no nothing. And I'm like, you know, what am I going to do? Like, it, you know, I can contact them or anything, but it's like, who cares? Like, it's not like, you know, people aren't going to go and subscribe to him just because they see my design on his thing. Like, it's such a silly thing to think about, really. Like, it doesn't really matter. Oh, boy. No, that's good. Okay, you know what? Let's just, let's just do this on the side. That's going to be easier. Okay, so that's forward. And there's reverse. Yeah, okay. So let's do this. This is, this is looking terrible. Okay, that's that, which you're connected to here. Okay, so let's just do this. This on its side seems like it's a bit easier. Okay, so when it's spinning in reverse, what's it gonna do? It's gonna go sensor, 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 right? So this one. This one has to this one has to fire those ones. And this one has to have fired these ones. Okay, yeah. No, stop. Stop. That one has to have fired those ones. That one has to have fired that, that. So this one has to have fired these ones. And this one has to... Can we stop with the jerking motion here, please? That would be... That would be oh my god, my mouse is screwed up. What the heck, mouse? What? What? Hey! <sighs> Can you start working, please? Thank you. Okay, and then this one... Where the heck? I don't even know... I always miss, miss this. This one's connected. That one's connected. That one's not. But see, that just, it just stalls it. That doesn't, that's not giving it any reverse. Unless I'm missing something here, but like, that's forward, no problem. Yeah, I totally, I totally have this out of sequence. Stop. I should really just make like a giant blender and call it a day. Okay. Whew, this is so confusing. You have school soon? You have to go to school soon, but it's, I don't understand. It's like, it must be early in the morning for you. Where do you live that you have to go to school? In like Great Britain? But it's like 5.30, so it's like, what, midnight for you guys? We don't have school at midnight. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. You made a wafu pillow. What's a wafu pillow? Like, just a pillow? Or is it like a shaped pillow? Say hi if this is not a fake live stream. Okay. Hello. Is, is, is fake live streaming really a thing? Do people actually, like, have, like, fake live streams where it just sits there and, like, like just puts out videos? Does Senpu Khan play BMG? Yes, I do uh, have BMG. I haven't installed it in a long time. I have a couple. I think I have like one BMG video on the channel. And that's it. 
But uh, yeah, it, I, I actually really like BMNG. It's a fun game. I think this goes here. And then I think that goes there. And then I think this one. Did I just make it go forward again? I can't get out. Okay. I think I just made it go forward twice. Reverse off. It goes forward. Reverse on. And it still goes forward. It's good. It's good. It's good. Okay, let's let's reverse on let's turn that off so clearly clearly my skills guys are okay well hold on you know what if i made it just go forward again let's just connect it to the opposite so this one goes to there instead and we'll remove it from here this one goes to there and we'll remove it from here this one goes to there and we'll move it from there i don't even think this is gonna work and then this one goes to here. It's it's getting so confusing to try to look at. I'll move from there. Okay. Opposite say. It doesn't like reverse. Forward. Reverse. Finally! God, I hate logic sometimes. That's so... Look at how confusing that looks. This is the problem. I mean, look at that. You got this, like, swath of crap going on in there. You can barely tell what's connected to what anymore. Like, I'm even struggling there. Okay, here we go. So, f let's go forwards. So, holding W, going forwards. Turning, no problem. Right? I don't think that was a jig. I think that was a, a fail, is what that was. And then if we hit 1, it should flip it and slowly... Haha! -ha! Reverse! Nice. And now we've got stability issues, but that's okay. I need a- I think I need better steering. I think the piston steering is good, but the piston steering- I think I'm better off just like double stacking real like normal steering. I think that's what we're gonna do. Because uh, this piston steering is good, but it's too flimsy. It's just like the regular steering. It's just flimsy is all heck, so we're just gonna- we're just gonna- we're just gonna get rid of that. Whoops, 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 whoops. This is- this is good. Watch me disconnect the entire wheel and I have to reconnect all the stuff. Luckily, the radial engine is connected up to the sensors already at the wheel, so it's like whatever, but... Okay, let's just do this. Because the piston steering, like, it's good, but it's not- it's not powerful enough, I don't think. It's, it's not, like, I, I like piston steering, and I, I'll do a car with piston steering to make you guys happy. How about that? I'll, I'll do, I, I was planning on doing, at some point in time, uh, doing a fuel car with a cruise control. And, uh, and when I do that, like, I'll do a fuel car with a cruise control and with a differential. And it's going to consume fuel at different speeds based on how fast you're driving. Because that, that was, like, one of the biggest things is, like, hey, make a five-speed cruise control car that has, like, five different speed settings. And depending on how fast you're going... Uh, it'll consume fuel differently, so I'll do that. Alright, uh, these are counteracting each other. And then when I do that, it'll, um, yeah, I'll, I'll put piston steering on it and, like, differentials and all sorts of stuff. But for this, I think the, uh, the piston steering is just too flimsy. These have to be opposite, for sure. And they're still, see, look at how much, that's just so much tougher. It's got like such a faster spring back than the uh, than the piston steering. No offense to all you guys who like pistons. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, see like that's just it's much more stable too. Nice. 
I mean, it's still flimsy, a really, really flimsy big wheel. All right, and then we can hit uh, two is the cruise control, so we can do that, that's no problem. So I can let go hands-free, right, hands-free. And then I can hit one, and that'll put me in reverse, eventually. And then the pistons will fight, there they go. And then they'll start going reverse, awesome. See, it has to flip the sequence. But yeah, in reverse, it's it's definitely a lot stronger with just a double bearing steering than a piston. Pistons are good, but the, the problem with pistons is that they're not rigid, right? So like a piston, when you have a piston fully extended, it acts more like a suspension piece, right? Whereas like, which is fine. And then we can still, we can still do this, I think. Oh no, we're... I don't even, I don't even know what's going on anymore. We're stuck. Perfect. I love that radial engine. That thing looks so cool. It would be sick now. You know what I need to do? Now I need to make like a big car. Like with wheels that are maybe slightly smaller than this, but pretty big, and use four of those radial engines on it. So each wheel has its own radial engine mounted inside the hub. That would be cool. I'd have to like rewire that though, but you could have like four independent wheels with four. It would probably just lag like crazy, but it would, it would work, I think. It wouldn't be very quick though. Awesome. This thing's great. I love it. Suspension is needed. I mean, a car would be cool, right? Like, a, yeah, like a car with four four sets of radial wheels. Like an actual, like, you know, treat them like electric motors or something. Bye, Ryan. Thanks for coming into the stream. Really appreciate it. A lot of fun. Do a hovering tank stream. Okay, 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 I'll save it. You guys are all freaking out. Are you guys, like, worried, like, my computer's gonna crash or something? It's, I promise it's not gonna crash. Piston-powered big wheel piston power big wheel son of a pp big wheel that's what we're calling it now because it's the pp big wheel the piston powered it's pretty good i mean it needs some it needs some aesthetics like handlebars uh you know some some like a giant seat or something can we can we go forward here there we go reverse is still a little bit sketchy sometimes when you go into reverse like, I just hit reverse there. See, sometimes it just kind of jams up before it actually wants to go in reverse. But it works. I mean, that's cool. Pretty excited. Oh, oh. The burp. Perfect. It's good. It's good. It's solid. No, actually, I really like that. That's so cool. Such a neat idea. For reversing, all you have to do is put this swash plate or plate with a sensor's bearing and rotating at 180 degrees. You mean like the actual, like, like the sensor plate that the bearings, the sensors pick up on? Uh, let me, hold on, let me stop here and I'll see what you're talking about. Are you talking about this? You're talking about this little, like I'm gonna paint this yellow. You're talking about this plate right here. All I need to do is reverse that by 180 degrees. And we have 42,000 subs, that is awesome. Thank you guys so much for that. You're talking about that, right? Just, just replace that, 180 degrees. Okay, well, so hold on. So if I take this engine here, which is spinning, and let's let's turn this off. So if I rotate that plate 180 degrees, that's the equivalent of doing this, right? So you're saying now it's going to spin backwards. I mean, it doesn't spin at all. See what I'm saying? Yeah. 
yeah guys i am gonna upload it eventually and i am gonna put pedals on it and stuff but i'm not gonna do that in the stream uh in the stream i just wanted to make the mechanism work and stuff like that um i do want to run here because it has been almost two hours an hour and 50 minutes and uh i i still am not feeling the greatest today so i don't really want to stream for like three hours just doing the aesthetics plus you know, I want to give you guys a little bit of an incentive to come back for the video, um, you know, and check it out. So I am going to finish this in a, in a, like, offline, not in a stream. I'll finish this offline. I like the idea for a hover tank. I also like the idea to do four in-hub radial engines. So I might, I'll probably rip this engine out of this one and uh, play around with it and try and make it reversing and stuff. And what's up, Spider Guy 987 but uh yeah guys it has been almost two hours and uh my voice is still kind of meh and my my i still need to go blow my nose like 300 more times so it's been it's been a good good sick day for me but uh i definitely am gonna finish this in the stream put some handlebars on it maybe some nice little like dangling tassels on the handlebars and uh you know obviously make a fake seat and that sort of thing but i really just wanted to prove that we could make a piston powered big wheel with a radial hub engine and that's that's so cool but I'm going to work on this engine for sure. I'm going to take it out and I'll put it onto an actual vehicle at some point in time. Maybe in another stream. I'll build this engine though and make it its own module that you can upload to the workshop. And just kind of mount it into the hub of something. Oh. You guys getting... If you get lag in the stream, try refreshing. Although I don't know why I'm saying that if you're getting lag in the stream. But it should be good. But yeah, I'm going to try and... Uh, Hmm. Oh, there we go. It should be back now. It's a YouTube thing. Yeah, it should be. It should be good. It's not. It's not my connection. My connection's fine. It's a like I'm still getting a full upload. It's just a YouTube thing. They had a little splurt there, but it should be good now. You can try refreshing. But anyways, guys, it's, it's pretty good timing because uh, I am going to end the stream there. I'm going to rip this radial engine out for sure, but I'll finish the big wheel up in a video and uh, and I'll try and make the radial engine its own thing and maybe even try making a four-wheel drive car with a radial engine on each tire because the cool thing with this engine is just like in this wheel, you can mount the whole steering mechanism around the engine so the whole engine can turn with each individual tire and we could put this whole thing on suspension too, which I might do um before i upload this to the workshop but we'll see what we do but anyways leave your suggestions down in the comments on this stream when it's done let me know what kind of color schemes you want and any other features you think i should put on this big wheel and uh, as always i hope you guys enjoyed the stream and like this video and i'll see y'all next time bye this thing's so cool though i could drive this for a while it definitely needs definitely needs multiple engines on a bigger vehicle but anyways see you guys later